Hey guys, welcome here. Now we are on the Canva editor. I just zoomed in. Um, this is it typically. So I want you to see exactly what I'm going to be doing. Remember our character Timmy? Hi, I'm Timmy the adventurous kid. Ready to explore with me? Hey, I'm Dars. Welcome to Learn with Dars. Happy New Year. I hope all our dreams come through this year. Let's dive right into today's tutorial, how to make a cartoon character blink using Canva. Let's get started. So um, here I'll be showing you how you can make a character, whether it's a still element, to blink. It's just a simple trick, actually. And um, talk as well. Now note um, that this is from the last video. If you've not seen that video, I'll link it somewhere here so that you can go watch it. I showed um, you guys how to create a sequence, a walking sequence to make animate your character to walk, whether it's a still element or an image. So um, here you can see that I have um, different, um, I have the video in different sequence and this are uh, different parts of the video it's walking as i'm just changing it's walking so um and also i have a green sc screen background because when i want to edit the video into the um, background proper that's the animation video um with the environment with the scene i would need to um use i'll do that on cap cuts so I need to use a green screen so that I'm able to edit that. I'll be showing you that in the later part of this video. So stick around. Don't go nowhere. Just stay on and watch me show you the simple trick. So um, this is the head of our character. I had to separate. It was formally grouped. But I had to separate it so that I show you what I mean. Now, um, I'll click on position just on the app. And you can see the different um, parts that are on Timmy. You can see I've separated the head, the middle tussle region, the legs, and now this is the eye. Now the trick is to cover the eye and set a timing and also animate the element. So I just decided to click C and this is C, a circle. Just tap on C or you go to element and search out a circle, um, um, circle shape. I tap that out and um, I had to color it to match the body of Timmy. So I went on to tap on the color, the color pick, um, Pika and tapped on Timmy body. And that was how I was able to get the circle to be the color. Now I had to resize. If you can see here, this is the eye of Timmy and note that because of the different the size of the eye you have to edit the circle to match that point of the eye that is what I did and so that when you animate it it will not look flawed it will look seamless and perfect so I went on to reshape the circle to match perfectly with the eye part, um, the eye shape of Timmy. As you can see here, the eye shape is matching with the eye, the eye shape and the circle were matching. I had to do what I had to do. So you're going to do this in a way that you'll be able, this is the, the original one that came with the video, but I'm just showing you how I was able to, um, edit the shape to match the eye now that is one part of the eye the next thing i did was to go to the animate and use the baseline as you can see i already did the baseline and it has a it has a movement there let's go back let me show you so you can see that it's very fast, so we can barely see it. And we will have to reduce the 
speed so i'll go on to reduce the speed so that it goes when we are blinking typically with a blink is not supposed to be too fast just supposed to be natural so you can see that it has reduced now and there i did that i'm just going to increase the timing of this we know that it's 0 0.8 we'll go back to that but just because i don't want it um going over to the next scene so let me just increase the timing so that we can see what i mean you can see that timmy's eye has the the, the circle has an anim animation now that is the baseline animation the next thing for me is i'll make sure it's on both so that it goes up and off again at the timing i would change it to go down either we can work but i prefer down okay now the timing of the eye i have to adjust the timing so you can see that the timing will come to the beginning because ideally i wanted some parts in the middle to blink so i'll have the um i'll have the cartoon character blink timmy blink in the middle of his movement so i'll just place it here to match the shape that i initially had so if you tap on this now you can see that it opened immediately so i want to reduce the timing again to just be very short i want it to be short i don't want it to take too long so it's natural the blink is natural so the timing and animation works hand in hand okay now I've reduced that timing again and I want to place it somewhere here. Yeah, so it looks good now. So if I go forward and click on it, you can see that it has blinked. Okay, that is very fast. The previous one, I want to reduce it more so that it matches the previous elements I had. Okay, so... Let me do that again. Go. Yeah. Now for the second eye. The second eye. I will get duplicate the circle. I'm going to duplicate it. Yeah. Let's see how it's going to be. Let's see. Let's go okay that's perfect so it's not going to cover the shape just sits right in on the eye so that's that we still have the other ones that was initially there so i'm just going to remove that there's no point again since we've gotten new set of eyes closed eye so the trick is to get a circle to close timmy's eye and animate it to open at a given time and there you go that's how to get your character to blink and it looks so real as you can see and all you just need to do is in each scene the walking sequence you duplicate and adjust timing you copy and paste it so here's what i mean when you go here the same thing let's say there was no eye let me delete all of these eyes because these are the these are the circles that circle that needs to cover Timmy's eye. Let's say there was no eye here, and you just keep going. You're just going to blink once, and you can see that blink, Timmy is no longer blinking. Now you want to create that blink effect, so you don't need to stress again. Just click on right click, go on to copy. You see that we copied the top one is for the right eye. Go to this place and the next footage and paste the next scene and paste here to cover Timmy's eye um you can see if you copy it to another um to another page it's going to increase in timing but we'll adjust the timing let's copy one as well and paste copy come to this scene paste so we have that there 
the animation notes that the animation is still there now if you want to make sure your circle is perfect you just tap you just tap on this and click the right arrow on your keyboard it will gradually move click the up arrow it will move as well click the right arrow so that it stays that's just the best way to adjust it here i'm clicking the left arrow you can see that it's moving so that it sits well on the face here i'm going to do that again now if you play it because there's no timing it's just going to look tacky okay but when you increase when you impute a timing when you impute a timing it's going to i'm just checking double checking that both eye eyes both shape are going the same direction okay they are now if you increase the timing you see it's there's no timing to it that's why it's looking like that so i'm just going to check the baseline just to confirm everything is both the speed is in the lowest and now we're going to adjust the timing you can just simply adjust the timing using this um adjusting this guide here and placing in the middle remember we want um timmy to where is timmy's second eye yeah timmy's first eye yeah so click just gradually reduce the timing and place it to match the same um to so make sure that the both eyes are in the same timing and the same position okay just adjust adjust till let's look at it again one more time okay the previous timing was shorter let's see i'm not feeling that i have to make it way shorter so i'll do that now adjust it maybe 0 0.2 seconds this is 0 0.2 remember so let's see how both go now yeah so i'll just go here over to the eye this is for the left this is for the right so i'm going to touch come here and adjust it a bit to be smaller so that the eye doesn't exactly just pop out you see now it's perfect so let's watch it again yes right so that's how you do that's how you do it you just have to make sure your you know this thing is just a trick it's a simple trick it's not too difficult okay now that's how i got the animation to blink you just use the eye i used the circle and it matched just adjusted it to match the shape of my cutting character's eye and placed it there to open and close i used the baseline um animation remember the baseline animation make sure also you adjust your timing to sit properly and be natural because you don't blink for a long time you have to make it very quick that's why the timing okay all this other part i never i didn't put a blink animation so when you get here you see the blink animation happen just come here you can see yeah hi, hi i'm timmy the adventurous kid, kid. ready, ready to, explore to explore with me? me now for the talking how did i make timmy talk i'm just going to hide this timing now because i want to explain and i want you to see what i mean now for the timing okay this i'm going to take it back to 0.8 0.8 yes okay great now the timmy our fun catching character can blink let's take it a step further did you know you can make him talk too i've brought timmy's voice to life using a simple ai tool and it adds so much personality to your animations in this next video i'll show you how i gave timmy a voice and brought even more personality to his animation don't forget to like this video and subscribe to learn with us. Thanks for watching and see you in my next one.